Hey, it's Liam from Tinnitus Treatment and I'm gonna break down in this video, when does tinnitus go away? Because you might be thinking, if you're asking that sort of question, you're probably thinking in terms of a time frame, like when will tinnitus go away if I'm 50? When will tinnitus go away if I got it from noise trauma? When will tinnitus go away? I got it yesterday, what'll happen? I came home from a concert and my ears are ringing and it's a week later and it's still ringing. You're thinking in terms of a time frame, but I wanna restructure that question and put it into a more useful context and tell you guys that if you're asking the question, when does tinnitus go away? You should be thinking of it in terms of when will tinnitus go away if I do X, Y, and Z. And I'm gonna tell you what those X, Y, and Z things are. And if you're wondering why you should be following these things, X, Y, and Z, it's because I've given these exact steps. There's only six steps to people uh, through the internet in person. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I don't do in person anymore. I only do online help from this YouTube channel. And over 137 people, well, we have much more than that now. Um, I'll show you some video testimonials in this video. Um, have gotten over there tonight as following these steps. I got over my tonight as following these steps. So let's crack into it. So before, well, before I break down when does tonight go away, I want to tell you one thing about doctors and what's the difference, think about this, what's the difference between a car salesman, a real estate agent, a cold caller, and a doctor? What's the difference? The doctor doesn't know he's a salesman. That's the difference. The real estate agent went to real estate school or whatever they do. The cold caller probably studied salesmen like Jordan Belfin and Grant Cardone, great salesman, Dale Carnegie, okay? The car salesman would have studied a similar sort of people. The doctor went to medical school and the doctor doesn't realize that there's very powerful people and this is not a conspiracy theory, it's just a fact, look it up guys. The doctor doesn't realize when he goes to medical school, or maybe he does, that there's powerful people who fund universities and just own them and they structure the curriculum in such a way that they'll sell drugs, they'll uh, prescribe the medications that they somehow have a stake in, whether it's stock or a JV partnership or anything like that, okay? It happens, it's not illegal, they can do that. It's absolutely legal because um, universities are privately owned, the good ones, and the good ones are the worst ones as well. Harvard, um, Wharton, all these ones, it's just a joke now. So. These, the doctors go to university and then they go and meet you and you'll be so hard pressed to be able to walk out of a doctor's office without a prescription, a ticket to buy, okay? And the reason you need a prescription in the first place is because the doctor has to know if it's safe for you because those drugs fuck you up. Antidepressants make tinnitus worse. Um, Pain medication makes tinnitus worse. But besides the fact that they're addictive and ruin your life, opiates, all this sort of stuff, antidepressants in clinical trials and studies, antidepressants are harder to get off than heroin. You can die if you stop cold turkey, stop taking Xanax from years of addiction, obviously. But you can just die, your body shuts down, okay? Similar thing happens with heroin, but not as common um, as it is of antidepressants. There's lots of studies on this. There's lots of um, psychiatrists who've just gone, this is just too much, and they quit, and now they're just blowing the whistle on the whole shit show. Anyway, so when is Snyder stop? Let me give you, let me break it down. So I recently had a person who um, has, has gotten over their tinnitus in six days. Seven out of 10, awful tinnitus, life-ruining tinnitus, considering just letting go, not killing themselves, but letting go of their life and just like going, well, this is the rest of my life, it's shit, I'll just give up. Not, not killing themselves though. Um, and here's the thing, lots of people have different time frames. I have people, you can see Alex's testimonial on my YouTube channel, just go to tonight's testimonial, the video, and you can see Alex and he had a similar situation. What do these people have in common? First thing, they're young. Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk about that in a second. Your age doesn't matter, but this is important. They're young. Second thing, they've been healthy for a long time. Okay, so he, for, no, sorry, let me rephrase that. They've been healthy for the majority of their life. So it doesn't matter if you're 55 or if you're 15. Okay, if you've been healthy for the majority of your life, then you're gonna be able to get over tinnitus quicker because your body is less toxic, okay? There's less toxins to kick. There's layers when you start fasting and healing yourself. First, you've got to get rid of the dead cells. Then you've got to break down the toxins and the fat. Then you've got to get the autophagy effect going. And then you've got to heal your liver. And then you've got to restore your B vitamins. And you've got to do all this stuff. But if, you're, if you haven't been eating McDonald's all the time, and taking prescription medications and drinking to excess every weekend. And drinking to excess is a couple of drinks a day or one glass of wine a day. That's excess. Don't listen to your doctor once again. Okay, let me just put a caveat in there. Without doctors, we would be all so screwed. We'd all be dead, we wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be here. Doctors are a pivotal, crucial part of society. We need them for surgery, childbirth, 
uh, polio vaccines, things like uh, fixing the, the common flu, that sort of stuff. Absolutely, we need them. But they're not correct in everything. But we do need them 100%. If you're a doctor watching this, you're a fucking legend. I'm not being sarcastic because we do need people like you and thanks for doing the hard work. But when it comes to prescribing all these antidepressants and these medications, that's wrong. That's so wrong. And it's just, they got taught to do it from university. Okay, anyway, so um, this guy's story, he lost his tinnitus in six days. It just bottomed out and he just sent me a message like, oh my God, it's fucking gone. I'll show you the video in a second. But um, what happened was he'd been, he'd gotten tinnitus for two and a half years and doctors said, no, it's for life. You can't fix it, which is, should be malpractice as far as I'm concerned. Just as well as doctors saying you'll never get better unless you take antidepressants. Just like doctors saying you're depressed because you have a chemical imbalance. No, that's not even fucking true. Look at psychiatrists who leave the practice because they know it's a scam. Just look at that stuff. Anyway, this guy, I'll show you a video in a sec, as I said, he'd been really healthy for two years. He'd be cutting out the sugars, cutting out the alcohol, doing a ketogenic diet, doing OMAD one meal a day sort of thing, really healthy. Um, and his tinnitus had been going down a little bit. So he'd been doing it for like, I think a year and a half, like properly um, doing it. Then he found me, he started putting a little cherry on top with my stuff and it just wham, went away. So this is going to be different for you if you're thinking when does tinnitus go away. If you're 15, 17, 70, 55, 34, 12 and a half. If you've been eating shit, or if you're that young, your parents have been giving you sugar since you're one, they should be fucking ashamed of themselves. If you've been eating shit for a long time, that ain't gonna happen. That is not going to happen. What's shit? Pasta, rice, sugar, alcohol, prescription medications, antihistamines, anti-allergy drugs, um, excess amounts of salt, bad quality salts, too much sodium, uh, not getting enough sleep, uh, not meditating, ha not having cold showers, um, bread, as I said before, um, an excess amount of meat every day, cooking of vegetables, um, all this stuff. People, it is not hard to have a really unhealthy diet. If you wake up in the morning and you have cereal and then you have a coffee later that day and then you have lunch and you have a sandwich, but you have the, you know, salmon because you're trying to be healthy and then you go home and maybe you have, you know, a nice hearty pasta and you have a glass of wine after dinner, that is fucked. Good luck getting rid of tinnitus. It's never going to happen. That is so unhealthy. It is a joke. But what would your doctor say about that? Yeah, that seems like a normal sort of thing. Don't fucking consult your doctor on your diet. Consult me. Don't consult a nutritionist. If, if your nutritionist, if you have one, says six meals a day, fucking ridiculous. That is so stupid. Your body's going to be inflamed forever. Your insulin's going to spike all day long. He's probably telling you to have... Oh, God, I don't even want to talk about what he's telling you to have. So, anyway... You get the point of the story, right? It depends. When, when does tinnitus go away? It depends on what your previous, let's say, two and a half years of your life has been like. Now, if you're really healthy, you can get rid of it in fucking days, okay? But if you're unhealthy, months, okay? And if you're older, age doesn't matter. People think that, oh, when you're old, your memory starts to go and life just flashes by. Not true. It's because you've been eating shit, all your life. And what of that day that I broke down before is bullshit. Even if you replace the cereal with, I don't know, let's just say two pieces of toast, a glass of juice, um, and maybe you have a fruit salad just to, just to be healthy, which is great. That's absolutely fantastic. But the juice and the um, toast, you ruin the whole day. The whole day's fucked. Just, don't, just go and have McDonald's if you want. You're fucked it already. But, but don't do that. But you get the point I'm trying to make, okay? So I'll show you the video now. Watch this. Hey guys, so here's what happened to me. Two and a half years ago, I started hearing this weird noise, so I was diagnosed with tinnitus. Um, I've been through a lot of bad things. I mean, you've been there, you know what I'm talking about, so I won't be. Long story short, I never took antidepressives. I did homeopathy, that didn't work, I guess. A uh, lot of exercise. I started doing that for about like a year ago. And then I was like, um, really going to, I mean, I did my own research about food. I was in uh, autoimmune protocol, uh, then paleo, whatever. My tinnitus was getting lower and lower. I was feeling better and better, but it was it will always get back at a certain point. I don't know, maybe one and a half years ago, I started doing the Wim Hof method stuff, cold showers. Uh, that's that, that's what I do a lot. I I do like three of them a day, maybe four. What else? 
because I think partially, at least partially, my tinnitus was caused by uh, inflammation. But once I uh, sort of put it all together and I also started dry fasting, it took me like five or six days and I heard complete silence. Um, I still hear silence. I mean, I, or I don't hear anything else. I mean, there is some other symptoms I still have, like when you swallow, you don't hear it like very naturally. But it's a small thing and I believe I will, I will um, get rid of it also. And Liam is helping me with that also, so. I don't know, I'm ge I guess I'm not really good at talking. But long story short, Liam really knows what he's doing. And uh, I gotta thank him for that because he helped me find the, the last piece. Uh, I imagine my tinnitus as being a coffin and he gave me the nails, like the last nails where I just took a hammer and, <laughs> and off you go and cheers. And So I wish you good luck and uh, believe me that you're on a good path. Cheers guys. Okay, so I cut it up for you then. His name is, um, I actually won't tell you his name just for, in case he wants to keep it private, but thanks, mate, for that video and thanks for following the guide like you're supposed to do. That's awesome. And the one thing that um, he didn't, he did was, or he didn't do was he didn't listen to his doctors when they said, oh, um, you know, tonight is for life. And the other thing he did was he tried things. Lots of people watching this right now, I get it. It's really scary and I understand that. It's scary having tinnitus. But guys, you have to start somewhere. Fair enough, you have to start doing something. You have to take some action. Even if you don't listen to me, that's fine. Just get used to taking action. Click off this video, go to someone else's video and see, oh, it looks as though, um, oh, I don't know, oxygen therapy might work. I think I'll do that. Great, go and do that. Just get used to taking action because eventually you'll find the right thing. And I'm not even, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm a modest guy here. Eventually you'll find the right thing, which is my thing, which works. So if you want the thing that works, click below this video. Download my free guide at liamstopsnitis.com. Start implementing it. It's just a basic guide, okay? If all this guide did for you was do a third of what it did for that guy I showed you before, in two months, instead of a couple of days, wouldn't it be worth it? Right, you have two choices. You can either click off this video, tell me to go F myself, that I'm, I'm not telling the truth, which is ridiculous. Why would I even, you know, this? you can see the amount of effort that I put into this channel. What's the point in lying? What a waste of my time that would be. Would, it, would any sane person do that? Or maybe you think I'm crazy, that's absolutely fine. Click off this channel, I don't care. But do something for yourself, do something. That's all you have to do. So click below, go to Liam Substantinitis, put your email address and get the free guide. And also I've set up something really cool. If you download the free guide and uh, it, it doesn't come to your inbox or it comes to your spam folder in your Gmail account, on the thank you page after you put your email address in, there's an option to choose Facebook. And that way you can actually get it sent to your Facebook Messenger. It doesn't give me permission to spam you or anything. It's just because I want you to get that free guide because I'm so stumped for time right now regarding answering emails that I just, just be getting too much. So hope this helps. I hope that answers when um, does tinnitus go away. Talk soon.